Hi there. This video is for next week's Colossus Super Solo West City Weather Forecast UK. It's for you on. If you like this video, let us visit. Please, please, a thumbs up. Place it into the day with the upper global sea temperature of the west coast of South America, Equatorial Pacific region, North Pacific Ocean upper global sea temperature, the North Atlantic upper global sea temperature, the coast of Africa upper global sea temperature, and the Gulf of upper global sea temperature. What's going on today, guys? Fascinating, absolutely fascinating. So we're getting a, a week to more borderline La Nina across um, all the Equatorial diseases, especially in the western part. The eastern is not so strong; it's more warmer in the eastern part of the Equatorial Pacific region. And the North Pacific Ocean, the eastern part is getting colder, the western part is getting hotter. The North Atlantic Ocean is getting uh, quite hot still. A little bit of cooling there, uh, in the, there in the Pacific Atlantic Ocean, but it's mostly quite above average for the time of year. So yeah, you name it guys. Very hot across the North Atlantic Ocean at the moment, you have been warned. So that's that guys. These hurricanes still likely across the Atlantic Ocean, especially towards America. Right. This is to 12 GS model for the future, guys. So, on the 15th of November, took about a bit of high pressure northern blocking over there to the northeast of Scandinavia, moving away. High pressure coming towards the UK. Got high pressure over Greenland, high Scandinavian high. And uh, you've got southwesterly winds there, quite um, mild southwesterly winds, quite strong. So, the westerly winds, quite um, stormy across Scotland, especially. There might be some storms coming towards the UK as we go through into December across the UK. Alright, we're going from now, from the uh, 10th of November, to about southwesterly winds there. And then southwesterly there, quite uh, cool northwesterly wind uh, by the time we get to the 13th of November. Cool northerly winds there, northeasterly, northwesterly, or westerly, northwesterly. And then it starts to go back to southwesterly. You've got low pressure over Great Iceland. And you know, we've got high pressure over Scandinavia, and the high pressure comes over. That's anticyclonic. It might be frosty and cold mornings with that high pressure over the UK on 21st of the, um, November. So that's that, guys. The 12 years of North Pacific. Yeah, 12 years of North This is the weather forecast. Broken town locally is the upper air temperature. The red line is a fairly average line. We're going into December. You see where the red line is going. White line is where the temperature is uh, going. That's where the actual temperature is going. The red line is a fairly average. And it uh, looks like we're going, well, staying above the red line, above the average. And we go down below it on the, um, the 24th of November. And we stay below it uh, until we get to the uh, first week of December, 7th of December. And we go above it. Then we go down below it on the uh, 11th of December. Over across working time locally. Down here, rain for spikes. It's the showers coming along the next few days across working time locally. It's more showering wetter as we go into the end of November and more unsettled weather as we go further into December, well, end of November into December. So it's very unsettled that we should be too weather across working time locally. This is what's going on. So, about southwesterly winds, this is the BBC Net Office weather forecast. High 14 Celsius, cloud amounts will vary tomorrow. You see what's doing that day. There's not a lot going on. It's quite dry and so kind of dry, sort of high pressure as well. But it's, but it's solar westerly, so it will be cold at times in the westerly, southwesterlies. And there's a lot of high pressure. If it goes too far north, we'll get talking about northern blocking to get in high, but it does vary. And this is the, um, the, the uh, well, you name it, uh, 10 HPA, uh, the troposphere. Well, 10 HPA, what's going on? And uh, talking about the, uh, What's it? Yeah, Royal Liverpool Texas Dunes coming back to life. You see the temperature's going up to minus 80 knee across the North Pole. This is up at uh, Shuttle Sea, 10 HPA. So, Royal Liverpool does it pull the Royal Liverpool Texas Dunes back online across uh, the North Pole. This is bad news. This has not been for quite a mild and stormy wet winter across um, northwestern Europe, across the UK. And this is uh, the Antarctic, um, the Ant you name it, guys, the Antarctic, um, Antarctic, Antarctic Oscillation. Yeah, the Antarctic Oscillation. And uh, where the red line's going down here, uh, down here, that means you've got northern blocking over Greenland. Um, which is, there are some doing that. It's quite a split, so they seem to be sort of going sort of just below it. Um, so not not very low, it's slightly below. So it should be some high pressure over Greenland. And the same with the North Atlantic. Also, they're both in agreement. It's going slightly below. So we should have some northern blocking coming in uh, as we go towards the end of November. So it should turn quite cold towards the end of November across the UK. But this could change again, guys. Um, it's no guarantee. So if you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe. To me. Please believe my work. I'm going to force to be with you. It's quite nice. What the needs of many. That way, needs a few. Please subscribe to my channel and sign up. Thanks for watching it. Please subscribe to my channel and sign up. Please believe my work. Because this is a very stormy and mild, wet Christmas and a very wet and stormy winter across the UK. So, we're in winter. Please subscribe to my channel and sign up.